Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on Elkader, Iowa. Today, we are going to be getting field 46 here. Uh, or 44, my bad. Going to be getting field 44 disked up. Um, not sure why the frame rate's so low right now. I do need to kind of adjust some more settings on my uh, Streamlabs again because something got all messed up. Plus, my computer's kind of been on for a while, so that's not really helping matters. My PC's kind of getting a little warm, so. And I, of course, forgot to turn my fans on, so. She's a little toasty right now. That's okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I had a lot of feedback. Um, the last couple videos, everybody seems to be really enjoying this series, which I am glad for. Um, I am enjoying doing the series, so... Uh, I'm glad that everybody is enjoying it. I'm right, gonna go ahead and skip some rows here. Um, had a lot of feedback in regards to the cows and pigs. I've had quite a few people saying cows, um, and a few people saying pigs, so, who knows, we might do a few of each, you know, maybe 20 of each or something. We'll see, but, uh, like I said, it won't, none of the animals are going to happen till next, till next year, uh, till the next growing year, because we've got a lot of... Um, a lot of work to do, plus we're going to need more money than what we have right now to get everything, so. Ooh, I am way off of my line here. My bad. Let's get that fixed up a little bit here. Kind of messed up that turn. So it should not take us too terribly long to get this field done. We'll get this field done and then we're going to be... Taking the disc back to the farm, unhooking it somewhere. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to just pull the planter, or, well, i got to pull the corn planter out and the sprayer to get the cultivator out. And then what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to probably just stick the planters in the back of the shed for now until we're done with tillage. No, probably shouldn't because we're going to need those soon hmm I don't know but we gotta pull the other planter and the sprayer out um, to be able to get to our cultivator um, although I guess we don't really need to worry about that yet because we need to put lime down on these two fields so what we'll probably do is we'll see how long this video runs first um, I may possibly be able to go get some of the lime. 
uh, beforehand. I want to see, did I... I don't remember if I updated my... Updated the spray trailer yet. No, I have not yet. Okay. Uh, I still need to put that in yet. I have not done so. Um, but I will take a look at that. Actually, while I'm thinking of this kind of stuff, I need to look and see here. I didn't think to... Okay. Uh, Serious Mods had given me a couple a couple of ideas on something to do with the um, with some stuff to do with the Mandaco. Uh, I'm gonna try some stuff that he recommended and uh, see if I can get it working the way that I want it to. I'm hoping that I can, but uh, I guess we'll just have to have to see here. We're already almost halfway done with this field, which is nice. Kind of trying to mix it up a little bit on uh, first person and third person views. Some people like first, some people like third, some people like them both. So that's trying to satisfy both groups of people, or all groups of people, I should say. Alright, one last pass, and then we can go pick up our skipped rows. really wish I could program a button combination on my controller for enabling or for like yeah enabling my auto steer because it's kind of rather annoying not uh, you know having to hit the keyboard hit the controller all that it's kind of annoying but you get used to it I guess Now once we're done with this field, I'm probably just gonna leave this hooked up to the disc for or to the yeah to the disc for now. Probably just pull this into the yard somewhere, and then we'll grab the 8960 and get that hooked onto our spreader, and then um, probably just gonna um, leave this hooked up until we're done spreading, and then we'll go through and we'll get our cultivator out and get that done cultivate that lime under before we get planting I mean in all technicality I could in theory just run the planters over the lime instead of cultivating but I'm gonna go through all the steps for now until later down the road when we have better equipment you know when we have like air seeders and stuff like that and precision planters then we'll run no-till but for now we're just gonna run tillage so we can put a couple grain bins down here at this place as well if we need more storage than what we've got I 
they can cut off that little lip right there in that field. Put a couple bins there as well. Got a few options for places that we could put them. But we'll see what happens, I guess. This tractor is probably going to need fuel before it goes out on the cultivator. Def we got a long ways with yet, so don't have to worry about that. It definitely doesn't use the uh, def near as fast. Granted, I do have a uh, uh, increased fuel consumption mod because without it, the fuel just seems to last forever. And I didn't really like that, so uh, I believe I did that on our Midwest Horizon series, uh, where I added that because it just I didn't like it. I didn't like that you know a tank of fuel could last me almost the entire year in one of my machines, versus like here you know we've got two fields tilled and we've already used almost half a tank of fuel. You know I I like that a lot better. Granted, it might be a little bit much, but it's a lot more realistic than, you know, I could plow, I could plow every single field we own and maybe use a quarter of a tank, if that. You know, and then, you know, I could use this tractor to plow them, spread lime on them, cultivate them, and plant them and spray them, and it would still be, you know... I still wouldn't have had to fill it. Even with it being set to default in the escape menu settings versus having it set to low, it still was just so slow in using fuel and it just kind of drove me nuts. I just didn't lot like that whatsoever, so I decided to uh, get that mod and Make it a little bit different. I do also need to adjust my graphics settings on the game as well um, for the you know like my graphics I think I have them on lower medium because of how Midwest Horizons was running goofy well it wasn't so much that it was uh, me trying to play Medicine Creek and I just it I don't know why but it wouldn't run it I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if there's something that I need to add to this computer, like a download or something that I need to do or what it is, but something's not right because it just, it does not run this game like it should. I mean, I've, I know of people that have complete shit computers compared to this and they still run them you know 40 p fps or something you know 30 40 like this is a lot better of a computer than my old laptop that i had and this still at times runs my games how my old computer ran and it's just it's kind of annoying not gonna lie all right not only annoying is it annoying but it's straight up freaking ridiculous so go ahead we'll run this to the farm and then we'll get the 8960 hooked up to the spreader get that moved over to field 46 there and then we'll go get uh, our dually Hook that onto the seed tender. Get that filled up with some... Well, run that down. Fill it up with some lime. 
and then bring that back up fill our spreader up and then we should be a-ok -okay for uh, tomorrow might be a little bit longer than a half hour might be a little bit shorter I don't know uh, I don't know I think with this series I'm not gonna completely stick to a half hour for every episode there may be some episodes where it's like okay I'm just gonna get these specific things done today and then when we come back tomorrow we'll get this done or this or whatever in all reality if I wanted to I could plow up that grass there and we could have more land but I kinda wanna keep it there <coughs> At least for now, if I do take the grass out, I'm only going to be taking it out to put alfalfa in. That's the only reason that I dig up this grass, is so I can plant alfalfa to use for feeding instead. But for the time being, we're just going to leave it in there and just uh, let that be how it wants to be, I guess, so to speak. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to park this off over here. Put that right there. We're going to grab our drill and move that out of the way. I need to see if I can use this. Barley, oats, canola, soybeans. Okay, so we will need our corn planter for everything, actually. We're not even going to really use this this year. We will be using the this next year, so actually what we're going to do, since we're not going to be using that anytime soon, we're going to go ahead, once we get... Once we get everything out of here, we're going to go ahead and stick that in the back corner because that's not going to be coming out until next season when we plant uh, small grains with it. So, Because this guy right here is what we will be using for our sunflowers and our soybeans and our corn. Well, I mean, we could use the drill for soybeans, which might actually do. And then just use that for our sunflowers and our corn. That's probably actually what I might do. Just because. See, we don't actually need to move the sprayer. The sprayer is A-OK -okay where it's at. Sprayer's fine for pulling this stuff out, but when it comes time to back the tillage tools back in the shed it might be a little bit interesting all right we're gonna get this thing pulled up here farther into the yard and then we need to go up and grab the 8960 get it ready to rock and roll tomorrow um, we'll fill that with fuel before we go out with it next Let's get this door opened up, get this thing fired up for the first time this spring. There we go. So yeah, like I was saying yesterday, this shed is going to get rearranged a little bit. Um, probably going to just have the tractors lined up against this wall here kind of where the truck is and then the truck's going to be more kind of in the middle so it's easier to get in and out with and then the snowblower will probably be over here uh, just kind of make everything easier this winter let's see did I even buy a grain cart 
I honestly don't even remember if I did or not. I don't think I bought a grand cart. No, I didn't even buy a grand cart. Wow. We're going to get the Brent grand cart. Okay, I remember now. I think it was actually that grain cart that locked my game up last time. Not gonna lie. Let's see, our trailer holds what? This holds 66,000. We can get this J and M. It's a decent sized grain cart. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick that up. And I'll get that brought to the farm later on. I was just thinking about that because this is going to be kind of our main cart tractor. And I was just like thinking to myself, like, where's my grain cart? Like, I don't even remember where I put it. And then it hit me. Didn't buy a grain cart. I must have forgot to buy that when I had to rebuy some of the equipment. It's a good thing that we did not get the extension with this because then it would not fit in here. Let's see, so this holds... <coughs> This holds 15,400. Okay. Oops, where am I going here? Okay, perfect. So one tender load will fill that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this moved over to our field here at the end of the yard. I don't like that the yard's laggy. Alright, my game is all freaking wonky donkey. Yes, I did say wonky donkey. It's better than the other word I had on my mind, so. Alright, we're gonna leave that guy parked there for now. We're going to go back in the yard here and go grab that dually and that tender trailer. And we're going to go run down and fill that up with a load of lime. this opened up or closed up I mean oops Pfft. in the wrong buttons here get our tailgate opened up for us to back under the neck Let's run and get us a load of lime. I don't like that this pickup doesn't like make a sound for the acceleration in it or anything. Just same drive sound the entire time. Whoa. Should pay a little bit more attention, apparently.
And I believe there is not traffic on here yet. I guess the uh, signal lights don't work on the truck or the trailer. Oh well. cover a lot of ground really quick with this truck going 111 miles an hour okay, maybe the truck itself does have blinkers but I don't think the trailer does And there's our animal dealer, our sale barn for when, when, whenever we do get into our animals. And we'll see our grain cart sitting down here. Right there she sits. And we go down to this last lot down here. And I gotta remember which one is lime again, because I do not remember. We'll figure it out. I know which one seeds. Let's see, cause here. Oh wait, lime is. Never mind. Lime is the bunk over here. Okay, I guess there's a collision there. Let's. Oops. Do not mean to stop it. Okay. Get this thing loaded up. Oh, you stupid thing. Really? Just see here what are we at for time 27 minutes so yeah we're gonna be about that 30 minutes which is not gonna be too bad once we get done here I don't like that all the numbers on the bottom are all mumble jumbled it's kind of annoying but I guess it is what it is not much I can really do about it honestly like how it's just like a ghostly looking freaking pile of lime. Like you can see through it kind of. Kind of weird, but. Hey, it works. I really dig it though. Really nice looking setup. Okay. There we go. So you got lime here. And then you got your solid fertilizer in the building. Um, right here is, I'm going to guess, I'm not exactly sure actually, that's either the liquid fertilizer or the herbicide, I don't know which one, I would guess liquid fertilizer, and then you got your seed bin, you got a fuel tank down here, and I'm assuming that that black one, black tank back there is the herbicide that is my guess I don't know for sure I haven't had to get herbicide yet so I don't really for sure know but I'm sure we'll one day figure out what exactly it is Cell points there.
Oh, this is quite the drive. It's definitely a long drive from our farm down here, but it's the realistic way of doing it, so that is the way that we are going to do it. Because I want to try and play this as realistically as possible. Whoa, what the heck's going on back there? Apparently this tender is not liking these roads whatsoever. Wow. Okay then. Settle down. No, 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 no. Do not tip my truck. Apparently I should have gotten a different tender trailer. Might have to see about uh, editing the fill amount for the Meridian one or something like that to kind of fit our operation a little better. And uh, maybe have to run that one. Uh, we're going to do something a little unrealistic here. A lot unrealistic. We're going to cut across the fields because that is going to drive me absolutely insane. That constant bounce like that. Not only is it going to drive me insane, it's going to extremely irritate me doing that. So, it's definitely going to be a couple of videos to get all the tillage done on this field here on 45. Same with 43, 47. There's some big fields. So, they're going to they're gonna take a while to get the work done, but... We'll have it all done. Okay. We'll uh, get her pulled up here and get her filled up. Well, this thing is not high enough for this spreader either. But, whatever. What? Why are you not unloading? You gotta be kidding me. This thing won't even load in here? What in the world is going on here? Mm, let's see if maybe I gotta hit a button on load. Like R or something. No. I. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to end it here because I'm going to have to figure out something else with our tender setup. <coughs> Probably going to just, uh, because let's see here. Auger wagons. It holds. Yeah, 
And it only holds 8,000. So I'll probably bump that up to... I don't know, maybe we can bump that up to 18. 16 would be able to fill this. I'm sure it would fill... anything needed on this. Oh, and this doesn't fertilize. Damn! Okay, well, I'm just gonna call it a video here, and I'll take care of this off camera, um, and then get us ready to start putting down some lime. And that is what we will be doing tomorrow. We are going to spread uh, 46 and 44, get both of those wiped out, and then uh, be able to move on to the last of the tillage for these two fields so we can get uh, these two fields planted as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure that you have the little bell icon checked as well so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure to check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, all my social medias, as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.